good ghost story. So hot. If you're hot. Welcome back to Paranormal Residence. So today I'm in St. Etchen's Church and Graveyard in Caloocan, West Mead, Ireland. And um, we're going to have a look around, um, some interest in history. So let's go. Okay guys, so this is St. Etchen's Church information. Um, so the, church, the present church takes back to 1813, but St. Etchen's has been a site of Christian worship for some 1500 years. The church began the Anglican Church of Ireland Parish Church of Caloocan following the Reformation in the early 16th century. The Packingham family acquired land around Caloocan. At the end of the 17th century, nine of the Packinghams were buried in a vault of St. Essence Church, include General Edward Ned Packingham, who was killed in the Battle of New Orleans in January 1815 during the Anglican American War in 1812. Uh, St. Etchen was a 6th century bishop who founded the monastery on this site around 545. Um, the monastery was transformed then into the parish church, so I think that's the um, bit over there, guys. So, um, yeah, welcome to St. Etchen's. We'll have a look around. Okay, guys, I just seen this little thing, um, it's a little plaque outside the church. So it says here the church graveyard contains the grave of Reverend Henry Ferris. He was a noted author of ghost stories. That's pretty awesome. Who died in 1848 while serving as a curate in Caloocan. The oldest head ones in the churchyard dip back to the 17th century, the distinguished. What's that say? Antiquarian. Antiquarian. Reverend William Faulkner, who served as rector of Clucan from 1892 to 1910, discovered the skulls, weapons, gleaves and ha er, skulls, weapons, shields and helmets dating back to Viking times in the fields behind the church. It's pretty cool. So this is the front of the church, guys. Um, so there was Viking remnants found in this area. Uh, it's very old. I wonder can I find the guy who tells the ghost stories grave? Let's go have a look. There's a really cool one here. I've never seen one like that. John. Okay. Behold. That's cool. Okay. Some very old gravestones here. You get a nice view of the church there with the evening sun hitting off it, guys. It's a lovely evening to explore, which I have been doing most of the day. Okay, guys, let's work our way around the other side of the church and yeah, start some spirit box. Okay, guys, so I am here in St. Etchens and the site of the church actually goes back uh, 1500 years so there was a religious settlement on this site 1500 years ago so a lot of history um, we have the church which is beautiful it has a little plaque on the front I'll show you as I walk around guys I'm just going to walk around and show you what this place has to offer so in that little corner seems to be more of a modern type of graveyard so I won't go there because of family names and stuff um, oh that's the thirties okay Grangemore Mary Jackson I've been to Grangemore and um, there is a cool like family plot here I'm gonna hop up I think it's in a vault because it's raised usually that would mean there's a vault underneath yeah, there's the little plaque there, 1813 is when the church was built. So this is the Church of Ireland, guys. George Mason, Robert George, 1970. Oh, there's a little gate into this one. How quaint. Oh, don't think anybody's been in here for a while. Um, let's have a look. 
Yeah, I think this is a military man. Oh, it's hard to make it out, guys, but I'm pretty sure that's a uh, military. This design here is on a lot of military graves that I've been to. I'm an expert at this stage about military graves. I'm probably wrong about that, but um. Oh, that's cool. Just that I've been to a lot of graveyards. So that one is 1864. Very nice. Very cool. Okay. The back of the church is really cool as well. Isabel. So this is a military grave. Colonel Napier. Magna. Littleton. 1891. Sorry, sir. Stepping on your grave. So, Caluc in Ireland is where I went to school. Um, I'm saying Ireland. I know all the Irish people would be like, oh my god, stop saying Ireland. But just to make it clear for any new person that comes onto the video, if they don't have a clue where I am. So, Caluchan is basically where I grew up. I went to school here. I went to secondary school. I went to Columbia College. So, I'm trying to go back to my roots and have a look at the history around this area and, of course, do some paranormal stuff for Halloween coming up. You can see a bit of Caluchan. Um, so I'm well used to the area. I've never actually been to this church though. I've never walked around. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very knowable. I like how the rocks go around. It's kind of cool. Oh, this poor man has his headstone on the ground, or a woman. A few of them are broken up actually. There seems to be a structure there. Might go up and have a quick look and see what that's about. Not really sure. Oh, the church is cool, guys. Okay, there's a light on in there, so I hope I'm not. Tra no, I'm not trespassing, I'm just looking. <laughs> um, I'll go up to this wall and see. Oh, it's the site of an old part of the church. Yeah, okay. It's pretty cool though. Um, it's a family plot as well. So that would have been the old church that stood here. Or it could have been the old monastery either. Uh, Caloocan has a lot of history. I've been to the Glebe in Caloocan. I've been to many, many locations in the Westmead area. But Caloocan fascinates me because there's a market square, there's a load of old mansions. There's not many castles, but there's a good few old manor houses and stuff. So I'm gonna walk around here, have a look-see. Okay, ooh. Hello. That's pretty cool in there. There's an old fireplace. An old rune. Really cool. I wonder, can I get a better look around this site? So right there is the old market square. Is there a way in here? Oh, cool. There is. Okay. Well, there's a mattress here. Nice. Um, seems to be an old type of fireplace. This must have been the old monastery, so this must have been part of the historic site. Um, oh, yeah, you can see what used to be an old fireplace, maybe. And somebody must have lived here a few years ago. Oh, it's pretty cool. It kind of actually has a castle vibe to me, but... I don't think this is a castle. Really awesome. Okay. Oh. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my way around to the front of the church and show you a bit more, and then I'm gonna start up this spirit box and see what comes through. Guys, I have the spirit box going. 
I'm calling out to the spirits of St. Etchens Church. If you're here with me now, can you come and say hello? Me now, can you come and say hello? Come and say hello. You have a message for me? I'm guessing that's part of the old monastery, guys. I'll work my way around the back because <laughs> people, people, <laughs> people. Can you tell me how many spirits are here? Slow it down a bit, guys. But I can't get down the hill. Do you have a message for me? A lot of interference, guys. Can you come through clearly and give me a message? I feel like there is um, a few knocking about, guys. Definitely. Fifteen. Apologies for the spot on my chin. You can message her us. Message her us. Message her us. I've seen that, yeah. Okay. Right, an infant son, James Pusher, coming. Hi, Harry Potter. You wanna say hello?
I've been bitten by midgets. Can you give me a message? You tell me how you died? Okay guys, I'm going to turn off the spirit box and um, switch over to ghost tube and see what comes through on that. Interesting, um, there was a few little voices coming through. Um, it's a very old area, I do feel there's a few people around. So I'm going to go on ghost tube and work my way around the front and show you the front of the church, guys. Okay guys, we just got the word police officer coming through. So again, I'm on Ghost Tube, available on the App Store and iOS for free download. If you want to go check it out, it's Amy's Crypt on YouTube, her app. So that's where we learned about the guy who's buried here who loved to tell a good ghost story. So that's Hot. Pretty cool. Hot. Donald. Donald. Okay. So spirits, if you can come close to me and give me a message. Come and say hello. Scott. Scott. Oh. Popping out of a... Once I popped off, then you were gave me just a little... The graves are really cool. So I'm guessing that field there, or the field behind that, is where they found... Um, this Viking remains. Edmonton is where I went, had my na went to national school. It's six months. Oh, John. Bottle. Bottle. Bowler. 38. Age 62. Cool story. Sean. Sean. Hello, Sean. Um, Lawrence. Lawrence, hello. Is there many spirits here? Can you tell me, can you pick a number? How many spirits are here? Lori. Lori. Hello, Lori. So, Lawrence, did they call you Lori? Maybe? It's the man who wrote the ghost stories here. Guys, I'm gonna end that ghost trip session there. A few interesting things come true. Okay, guys. Short but sweet. Um, thanks so much for watching Paranormal Resident. If you would please like and subscribe, tell your friends, share with your friends, share on Facebook and Twitter, all the good stuff. I'm gonna go before I get assaulted by teenagers. <laughs> There's a lot of them around. And yeah, okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Thank you.